All right, it's been a couple days and uh, got all our shopping done, got everything put away inside the RV nicely. Waiting for some Omaha steaks to arrive, so we might have steak and baked potatoes on the grill tonight. And I'm just going out here. I, I brought a few things up here to make some improvements on our vacation property here in Kentucky. And I just remembered. Um, let's see, where is it? Oh, right here. I got the Lange Street Solar Light. This thing's huge. You might have seen when I put it up at home in our doggy backyard at home. So here it is. This thing is big. Big solar panel. Nice big light. And it comes with a mounting pole. So it gives it some extension there. So I just wanted to see, I had an idea of where to put this thing. Now I was gonna put it up out there on one of them posts over the, uh, on the uh, RV awning. But I want it to shine more over in this area because uh, Carly likes to come out and play ball and sometimes in the evenings it's cooler. So this is a good spot for her to run up and down and play ball. So I was thinking, mount it on the side of this garage here somewhere and it'll shine up this area here for ball playing just want to see how far this stands off and get it up there pretty high underneath that eave i think that's what i'll do I think that's got wood behind it, hopefully. So that's one of my projects. I got the ladder up and from what I can tell while I'm up here this right here is flexible I don't think there's much behind there but when you come down here to where these screws are solid so I'm gonna have to mount it at this height and it's got a slight upward angle that'll bring the light up about this high here. So it's not as high as I wanted, but I don't want to drill holes in here and it not hold. So we're going this high.
All right, guys, I think, I think that'll do it. Got it up there, it's pretty sturdy. It does uh, feel like it is into wood in that, through that siding. So tonight we'll come back and see how far the light shines out on this side yard here. I'll get you back so you can see a little bit better. So there's Carly there. We want to uh, brighten that path up through there so she can play ball in the evening times. Not too late. You know, when the sun goes down though, it gets nice and cool out. Well, while I got the, uh, the tools out, I'll continue on. I think I'm gonna install the bar on the screen door here. That is the thing I'm most looking forward to is that bar to grab easily and shut the screen door right here. I think I'll put the bar right up around this height here. I need to drill some pilot holes into our frame there back here. Now I did get the bar out yesterday and take a look at it and it's like a three piece design so you can stretch it and fit it to whatever width the door. It's a universal bar kit. I'll leave the link down below for the solar lights and this bar if you like. But we'll see how it, how sturdy it is first. It doesn't have to be that heavy duty because this thing, the screen is lightweight. Just a bar across just to grab and pull. Alright, let me get started on that. I got it to put when you're on unlevel surfaces. It's a perfect width to match the uh, RV stairs. And it brings it up about four inches higher. So that's a good find. I'll leave the link to that as well. All right, this is the kit. Universal RV screen door crossbar handle. Fits most common travel trailers, motorhomes, and campers by Camp In. And I've got it kind of pieced together here. And it comes with two different size screws. So I paired them up. I figured these two, the bigger screws, go into the end here, which I don't know if I can use those wide screws into the edge of the screen door here. We will see. They're going to go into here, right below this single handle. And then these other ones, so you got these two for there, and then these other ones will go into the end holes there, like that, and end holes here. And then these see this can stretch this can stretch to fit different widths doors so I'm gonna have to put it up to the door first and put a, a mark a sharpie mark here and here and then drill pilot holes I believe these are like aluminum this is plastic aluminum plastic and these are plastic ends so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and, and mark the length we need first and drill those pilot holes since I've already got my drill bit ready. So I was worried about it, but it's not wobbling around in there like it was before I put the screws in. Alright guys, we got it. The bar. Easily. Grab and close just like that. Easy grab and close. I love it. That's probably one of my top 10 upgrades in our RV yet. And it was very inexpensive. Because trying to reach your little fingers into this little grab knob. I don't know if that was factory. Somebody might have just put that on there. And some guests, they'll uh, also try to grab this plastic cover. You don't want that breaking. That keeps all the bugs out. So now you've got this really nice wide bar. So that's a major go.
All right, I'm pretty happy with the progress so far today. Two projects down. I might go ahead since I got all my tools out and stuff. You know, when you get your tools out of your RV, uh, you're getting stuff out of all of your storage compartments, as I've done here. Got everything spread out. And that makes me uneasy. I like to be organized. So the sooner I can get this all organized, tucked back in, locked up, the better. Now the seats. Seats only require one electrical connector and four bolts, as you can see there. Just plug this in and then actually four nuts. I would have to say the hardest part on that would be uh, bringing the seats in here. I'll just back up the van up here and, and get them in the door there. Meanwhile, I've been working outside on the projects. I think my wife and Carly's been back here uh, working on stuff. Yep, Cheryl's doing the laundry. I think she took a shower. So it's hot out here today in Kentucky. It's actually the temperature showing 94 outside and 80 degrees indoor but the indoor somehow is inaccurate I don't know if it's because it's up against that outer wall but if you look here our thermostat inside says 77 we got it to 76 setting and also I've got the Yolink uh, digital readout thermometers 77.1 degrees 0.3 degrees just changed inside and 48.2 percent humidity not bad so let me just take a quick break here and see if i'm gonna start on the rv seats All right, I saved the nuts here in the Ziploc baggie right on the console so I can find them easily. And so we gotta put it in there and then snake that wiring, wiring up through the center. right here to here. Guys, guess what I'm sitting on? Our brand new seats. Feeling nice. Tested out the electric power. Power seats work. Comfortable. Can't wait to get on the road again.
Oh yeah, another thing I want to do since we're going, uh, we're driving across the border, the Canadian border, I want to make sure I have all the footage of that and I don't want to be obvious like holding up a, a camera like this to the customs border agent. So I bought a another dash cam. Of course, I've already got a dash cam here built into the dash, but that's front facing and rear facing. So I got another dash cam. I'm going to mount this this week, probably up in the top of this window here, pointing out toward where the drive-in booths would be or uh, the Canadian border booth where the customs agent is, just so you can get, I want to get all the footage I can for you guys so you can have the real life experience uh, on a video so that if you want to come across the border to Canada by driving, you'll know that experience, especially uh, since we're dealing with COVID, the aftermath of COVID right now. Actually, it's still ongoing, I guess, but we'll see all the processes in a future video of what you need to do to prepare to get across the Canadian border legally and without any issues. So make sure you subscribe now. Don't miss any of my future traveling videos on this travel of September in our RV. So if you guys are ever out in the country, are being stop and get some local corn like we did, it's delicious. And uh, we just, uh, my wife bought a steamer, corn steamer, little tray. I'll show you when we get inside. Uh, it's really easy to cook up in the microwave. Uh, steam it with a little bit of water, with your corn in it, for about five minutes. It's ready to eat. I think I'm just going to have this corn as a snack while I'm waiting for our Omaha steaks to arrive. Hopefully they still turn up today. Nice. So here's a little corn cooking gadget right here. say, Todd, how's the corn going to fit in that tray with these ends on it? Just like that. Add a little water. Five minutes, that's all. All right, Carly's hungry too. Are you very hungry? Buggies. 
ready. Ready to eat buggies? Alright, I almost forgot another thing I did is I took measurements of our door panels before we left in April so that I could create a sturdy cup holder utility side compartment area for drivers and passenger here. I had these that I bought, but these things suck. They expand for different drinks. They just, I don't know, they're, they're just clunky. Maybe some of you guys have used these, but... I don't like them that well and that's all you can store as a drink there's no other compartment so I did design these 3d printed little circular design on the front drink cell phone other odds and ends right here back scratcher stick that in there for when you're driving down the road and uh, so that's it if you have a uh, an RV like this one this is the Allegra open road I'll leave the print design in the description below. If you have a 3D printer, you can try printing these. I use my two-sided sticky tape. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it on. I found a location. I don't want to get it too close to these switches here. So I'm going to set it back a bit, probably like this. Maybe I'll leave these here in case you want a couple different drinks. But this is going to go good right here, right at arm's length. So I'm going to go ahead and start peeling these. on nice and tight. Hold it firmly for a few seconds. Man, that is sturdy. 3D printed guys, 3D printed. Now let's get some stuff to try it out. All right guys, look at this. Driving down the road, got your brand new cup holder, utility spots here, your drink. And I made it big enough so you can keep it in your coolie. Back scratcher. Ah. You know, because when you're driving down the road, you get like an itchy back. Can't reach behind you. Just grab your back scratcher right there. Cell phone. Right there. All at a hand's reach. Nice. Over there too. If you can see it, driver's side. Right, Carly? Carly sees it. I'm gonna love these. Can't wait to try them out driving on the road. Alright, guys, so FedEx failed the show today, so we're having the next best thing. That's BLTs minus the L. Although Cheryl says we do have some lettuce mix, salad mix in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna do the tomato and bacon on bread. With mayonnaise, of course. Look at this. Nice. Cheryl cooked this. Cheryl cooked this up for us. Lots of pepper.
nice. Enjoy. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see me or not, but we're going to try out the new solar street light. Carly's going to help us. She's going to play some ball out there. Sorry for the light. Hopefully, we don't have light issues in the back. We're going to go check it out. Carly, you ready? Let's go play some ball. Carly's got her new lighted vest on, so we should be able to see her no matter what. Yeah, it's on right there. I don't know. Do you see it? It is kind of on, but it needs some motion. Oh. There we go. We got motion. Here we go. There we go. There goes Carly. Yeah, it does light up this area pretty good for, for playing ball out here. We're not going to throw the ball way up there to her. So let's see. We get back here I'm right under the light here there goes Carly all right I'm gonna show you another view with my phone Samsung Galaxy Z flip phone I think it'll show the light better yeah all right there it goes it, it spotted me on motion walking up to it now look at that light it does go like I said all the way out to that fence about to I don't know right about here see it just went off now it's on dim mode let's walk back up to it and I like that it goes on dim mode just so if we're not here it's on dim but if somebody comes in the yard now all of a sudden you have that full brightness and it comes out back here past the garage I would have to say to about this point here, past the garage, and see it went off. Now the remote, I do have the remote on me, so I'm going to have it stay on. Let me see. Look at this remote here. Now it says auto, let's see, make sure it's full brightness here first. It's got radar. I just wish it would tell you if it was on or off when you press that. And then we're going to do three hour, we'll say. Net is three hour no sensor or sin and then you got auto so guys I'm gonna leave the description to this light it is very bright the higher you get it the higher the more area you'll get it to cover you'll get more coverage but I'll leave the description Amazon description so you can check it out and get all the details and it does shine up all the way up to that other lot there. So it's a nice bright light. And no electricity. Costs nothing after you purchase it. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. The third day on our RV travels. No traveling yet. Just getting the RV prepped and ready as you saw today. Carly got to try out her new solar light by Lange. And she's loving her new lighted vest. We love it too. Anyways, 
I always think back after a working day like today, I think back, let's go RVing. It'll be nice, fun, and relaxing. And I think, that's what she said. Guys, I'll see you on the next video. All right, Carly's gonna show off her new vest, lighted vest. It's got two different flashing modes and a solid lighted mode. She likes wearing it. It is nice and heavy duty too. Stitched really well and it's rechargeable. So the battery's built in. He just It comes with a magnetic rechargeable cable. All right, let's show it off. Go run around. I'm just tightening, tightening it up. Okay. We just got it a couple days ago. Oh. Really nice. It's not too dark out here now, but still stands out. I think it's tightened up good enough. And it's gonna crooked. Tighten. Well, it's because it's loose. Oh. I'm going to tighten it up some more. It's adjustable. Yeah, it is adjustable around the neck and the belly, and it's really convenient clips. You just, uh, you know, the pressure type you squeeze together.